So welcome back to part two of installing Tivoli Workload Scheduler. Uh, what I did in the first part was install the database and what we're going to do in this part is install the um, Workload Scheduler Master Domain Manager. So we're just going to log into the uh, server here and okay let's just do that okay <clears throat> so in the previous session we installed the database and just to show you that the uh, we have the DB2 database installed here um, with some um, tools so let me just go over to the um, directory where I've got the installation files uh, one key thing I've got to emphasize is that the date here is um, has been reset to the current date and what happens when you install the um, domain manager is it flags up that the um, the certificate needs to be uh, less than a certain date now I think that date is February the 10th 2014 so what I'm going to do here is to um, to get the uh, installation to run smoothly I'm going to change my date and time of the server and what I'm going to do is go right back to 2013 and that will to, so I'm going to change it to 2013 so as long as it's before February the 10th 2014 you should be okay so I'm going to select that and I'm just going to make sure that we're not um, we're not updating the time somehow okay well we're just gonna let that, let that go uh, so the date is now changed to 2013 here we have the uh, master domain manager and the setup file is in the windows file and let's just select that and off we go I don't think there's a great deal of uh, things to select on this but let's just work our way through it and see if there is English of course for me uh, this will bring up the um, installation wizard and I'm going to next button for that accept all the license agreements uh, with this you can select um, different types of uh, installation I'm installing the master domain manager because I haven't got any of the other ones uh, active and here I'm going to set up a, a TWS user and you make up your own password I think it's got to be a capital letter as well as a number okay let's see if that goes through yep yeah. and another important aspect of installing this is that you add the final job stream to the database to automate the production cycle okay you must take that box it runs a lot smoother when we get towards the end if you've got this up and running next that generate the ports it should go off and find the um, installation directory and it should come back that it's not valid okay so I think what it is it needs to be taken away the x86 here so I'm just going to get there I'm going to take away so we've just got program files IBM TWA as being the installation well, let's see if that goes through select the database is the DB2 
and the path I think is standard already set as in that and I think that's going just uh, so the um, this is where you have to put in the DB admin password so you installed that in part one and you should have the DB password okay okay that's gone through has been accepted and let's just select the default installation of that and that's a default installation as well and it, this goes through what it's going to install let's just do that okay here we go uh, what I will do is make sure that this runs smoothly through and hopefully we'll get no problems and I'll speed up this uh, video so that you're not seeing all the way through it might take about 20 minutes half an hour sometimes to go through but I'll see and I'll meet you back here towards the end okay okay so welcome back it seems to have c completed uh, successfully and um, I'm just gonna click to finish that and that's gone through so pretty easy to install it as long as you've uh, set the date the all the policy seems to go through all right on the security and uh, that's the end of this session where we install the master domain manager and uh, the next uh, session is part three and uh, we're going to be installing the dynamic workload console which means you can sort of log in and uh, and start working so um, meet me back here for part three thank you